a structure design is sitting on the edge of what's strong enough and what's light enough. Taking out the, the engine is a big challenge to us. Putting in a human there is what really makes it um, hard. A team of young engineers from the University of Maryland is trying to do the impossible. Conceptually, it's extremely basic, and yet, in practice, it's extremely difficult. Push it! Good, Henry, good! Keep that around there. They've spent the last four years building a human-powered helicopter, and now they're putting it to the test. These engineering students are chasing the American Helicopter Society's $250,000 Sikorsky Prize. It's been unclaimed for more than three decades. They have to build a human-powered flying machine that can hover for a minute and reach a height of three meters without drifting out of a 10-meter box. It's an engineering challenge. It's it, nobody's ever done it before. Yes, it doesn't look like the most advanced technology out there, but you know we're really pushing the limits of composite structures and you know lightweight design. Okay, so what are we gonna do again? Put the shot collar on. A lot of things we're trying now. They start off with someone's cracked out idea. I thought, let's try and make this super light by doing this. Even when we finished building it, I was skeptical that it was gonna work. That's pretty much right. That's, that's you know, we all love making paper airplanes and really geeky stuff like that. And this is just taking that to that next level. The helicopter is built of carbon fiber tubes, styrofoam, and lots of super glue. It's over 100 feet across, but it only weighs 80 pounds. Unspooling strings make the rotors turn, kind of like a giant wind-up toy. The pilots all answered a flyer that said simply, are you light and strong, and do you want to break a world record? We've achieved about three and a half feet off the ground, but haven't been able to push it any higher. So we think that our limiting factor is going to be trying to achieve the ten, the ten feet. I think right now I'm good to go. I'm ready. Altitude record attempt. Flight test 11, altitude record. Flight test 11, altitude with Henry. This is something that not a lot of people have done before. I mean, with the eight-foot flight, like I'm the first person who's ever flown a human-powered helicopter eight feet in the air. That was the most amazing feeling in the world because, I mean, that's really flying. What did we do? What's changed? How is this? How are we struggling to get at three and a half feet, and now we're popping up to eight feet, and you know, it doesn't look like we have to do much more to get higher. All right, guys, this is a record flight attempt. For the first time, the Sikorsky Prize's 10-foot requirement seems within reach. I've honestly never gotten to a point where I had to stop because I was tired yet, so hopefully that's going to be today. There's still one big problem, though. There's no steering on the helicopter. All you can really do is pedal. The helicopter tends to drift out of its 10-meter box, breaking one of the Sikorsky Prize rules. Crash has grounded Maryland's helicopter, for now. We've had some really major breaks, but we can fix it. Wrap it, rewrap it, and re-glue it, and you know, give, give yourself 10 hours, you can do anything. The University of Maryland team is already redesigning and rebuilding, 
trying to control their helicopter's drift. The Sikorsky Prize hovers just beyond reach, but as engineers say, It's not a problem, it's a challenge. <laughs>